previously on The League of Kevin James. Do they eat marijuana? Uh, we could decide that they do. Now, those other three systems are within our, like, lay of the land. Do you think the slob and my god like, need to stay hydrated? So, like, they have standing water in there. They have standing water in their, like, rooms. <laughs> this is called the cool ass, the cool ass system. Yeah, JG Wentworth. Because mm -hmm. they want their cash now. What is an ocean world but just a slime ball? What are humans but just slime balls? We've kind of felt out our home turf and we're on the verge of colonizing our new found ocean worlds. We are back. In the land of the snob on my gobnacks. Slob on my gobnacks. Slob on my gobnacks. People. The snob America. on my gobnacks. Those guys are snobs. Yeah, total jerks. Uh, we are <laughs> back for part three here of our Stellaris adventure. Mm -hmm. uh, when last we left, I believe we were on the verge of an election. Yes. That and is we true. were just about to start looking, to hopefully start colonizing soon. Right, so I, I think we're wait. about to have our colony ship come up. I need to spread my seed soon. Because yes. we found a lot of ocean worlds last time. So Yeah, we did. Let's go. That's my fetish. Let's give it a go. Okay. And do it. <coughs> so. So just so you know, Jared, not that you have to do this, but right now you're running at normal speed. If you look up in the upper right corner, you can increase it. If you hit plus on the keyboard or just click there, you can go to fastest or you can go even slower. So basically, I mean, I only like really, this. I really just use normal and then faster. <gasps> a new ruler has been, hey, that's who we wanted. Chancellor mm. Juniki Haguchi will that's roll right. until the next election. Because remember, we wanted the, kind of the new guy on the You know what they say, feel the Junichi. Yeah. It's like, do you Junichi? And then they go, uh, yeah, I Haguchi. Yeah, Junichi looks a lot like Larry David. Yeah. All Larry right. David's I'm the perfect happy. person to play him on their skit. Comedy shows. I can't wait till they meet one time on a comedy show and then just like look at each other like it's like a they know. like you get it yeah all right it's so like whoa that's good curb your enthusiasm all right so Junichi Higachi has been elected as chancellor of the League of Kevin James consult the situation log for details on their mandate yes also it looks like They're oh have a he mandate? was one of our scientists so it looks like you have to replace him all right that's cool so see up there yeah let's not put this on slow let's talk about that. Let's just leave it at normal speed. Yeah, all I would right. say be oh normal gosh. or faster. Crazy. Okay. So here, all of our guys are already doing stuff, so you have to hit the recruit button to get a new one. Mm -hmm. And then we pay influence to get new. Okay, so traits. Okay, hold on. I have to remember what type of... It doesn't matter what. That's fine. Or it's a social scientist is what we're getting. Society. Okay, that's what I need. Okay. So, I mean, I would assume so I get statecraft Julia might Martin. Come up. Yeah. I would think that's I think that's the best person. Juliet Lewis and Steve Martin. Also the youngest, job. so she'll be able to have the job for longest. Good. And then you have to now it says available up there because you recruited her, and then you just click her. She's available? Nice. Yes. Oh, she's available. That's uh, one slug that would love to go on a date with you. Oh, I can't wait. I like her nose. She has like it's nice because she like, she has like this nice I thin like she her has, nose. Wait, I started circling the wrong one here. Uh oh, that's Muhammad Barakat you were attracted yeah, to. Yeah, he's got this gross fat nose, and she's got this nice slender, like petite, like delicate, dainty yeah. nose, and he's got this big very fat slob nose, very feminine nose. And he's got this like he's got this nice like I don't know what you'd call this like a I'll call it like a scientific nose. I call it like a Michigan nose. Michigan. Yeah, the Michigan from, nose. People people from Michigan have noses like that. Okay. So now we've got a new leader. Science ships are still surveying. Looks got like a new science lady. Ships are building. You got a new yeah. scientist. So this would be a, a time when you could probably ratchet it up to fastest. Yeah, kind of let this just go to let through. time it's, go. That's right. But get ready to hit that pause. Smash that MF. Sm smash that space bar. All right. So Juan Gonzalez has come back with a report. From the JTT Jaeger, we have detected life signs coming from somewhere beneath the barren and lifeless surface of this planet. What manner of organism could possibly live there? Mm. Do you want to leave it be? Would you like to research it? Of course we're going to research change it. change scientist. We always research it. There's a 15% failure risk, but I would search it. I don't know. The, I don't see how bad the failure risk could be of that. We, we just love, don't find them. We Yeah. Well, yeah. well you, you never know. We could like upset them and they murder us. Yeah, I guess that's okay, true. Okay, so system surveyed. Okay, so I guess we also need to manage our surveying here. 
Yeah, well, you can if you go out to the galaxy map, you can look, but I think your science ship is still researching. Yeah, it looks like... That's oh, because now the science ship is doing the anomaly. Mm. You can see, if you see on the right, on the left, or the right side, sorry, the outliner. Oh, yes. See how the science ship has that little, right. like, magnifying glass? That means that it's working on an anomaly. Cool. Okay. So, let's let these burn through here. I'm assuming we're trying to burn through all of, well, at least the colony ship. Colony ship's ship. the main one. Okay. Okay. But, let's see what the... Okay. Well, there's no way. There's no hotkey for that, I guess. So you can hit plus and minus right there on the numpad mm. to increase the speed up and down. I don't know where those are. The initial survey report, which mentioned life signs originating from the surface of the Harabas Six. I was trying to do like a Shatner impression there. Okay. I don't know what I was trying to do there. It didn't uh, work out. Must have been mistaken, as nothing of the sort has been found by the JTT Jaeger. Science officer Juan Gonzalez reports that the planet now appears to be completely devoid of life. Okay. So I think we failed. At least it says mm. failure up top. <clears throat> well, so if there was something, we didn't find it. That's a bummer. Oh, I think I clicked on something. Okay. So now your science ship needs another. All right, coolly. Biduly. All right, so he's. What am I looking at here? What you I can click select on? him from the side. Well, yes. All right, so. You can just double click, I think it'll take you to him. Let me. Although you probably just want to be on the galaxy map. Yes, you're right. Anyway. So Haribas was what the... Well, we kind of want to keep going in this direction here. Yeah. So we right-click it? Yeah. You can do survey system. There we go. And your construction ship is done, too. So we can build some. We can build out more of the um, slime ball or JG Wentworth or Cool S systems. Well... Because remember, if you hold Alt... It'll show you what stuff you haven't gotten yet. So we could build research stations in Cool S and JG Wentworth. I think... Let's go with Cool S first. It looks like there's a lot more there. Okay. Oh, uh, build research stations. Yep. Okay, here we go. Here's something else. Oh, God. We now know... Mm -hmm. Already. We now know, without a doubt, that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to the Mall of America. Both <laughs> the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalog the life forms we encounter are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus our planetary survey efforts on habitable life-bearing worlds. So we can start the Habitable Worlds Survey event. A commendable initiative. Or I think we can just say, screw you dum-dums. We have more important matters And we just matters get some influence. To focus on. Yeah, we're gonna... I think that's the most important, because we want to find some places to live. Exactly. Got to spread our slug seed. I mean, we love the Mall of America, but we're not in love with it. Yeah, but we got to have more malls. It's true. Oh my gosh, you're right. We love it, but we love making new malls more. I already know what the name of our next mall is going to be. So, got this guy working over here. Got this guy going over here. Well, let's see if he's got anything going on here. So, oh. Got an asteroid belt here. Got some of those gas grazers. Are they going to stop at this planet? Mm, they might. Nope. They might eat some of it. Don't care. Just don't care. Oh, yeah, they did. Oh, they ate it? They stopped at it. Oh, yeah, you're right. Probably pooping on it. All right, go, could, let's go. Let's turn this down. All right, okay. so you've got a social... Oh, colony ship's finished. Sweet. Okay, well, let's get a new one here. So, let's... So that increases our bo galactic ambitions. I think Increases that's... our border range by 20%. I think that's what I actually want, because um, it is... A lot more, but... Monthly influence would be good, and level 2 hydroponic farms would be good. Porter range would be good, too, though. Well, I mean, to be fair... So, so the way this works, by the way, just so you know, is that this is like a deck of... It's kind of like a deck of cards. It's always So right. you drew this... Th you drew these three things. That right. doesn't mean that you can't... You won't draw the other two again. They just put back in the show. They just put yeah, back they're in put the back in. I think galactic ambitions. I mean, our guys love... I think we have galactic ambitions, definitely. Yeah. I mean... What does that face look like to you? Yeah, Juliet wants to see strange new worlds. Yeah, her ambition it has a has a strong slant towards galactic, galactic, as opposed to microscopic. Right. And now you Universal. can build colony ships. Yes. So... so if you go to the Mall of America, which you can select from the outliner on the side. Oh yes, that's right. I'm getting used to all this like shortcut business. Okay, so we then want if you do to... spaceport and build. You can do colony ship. Oh gosh, my brain. Is this? No, it's down below that. Oh colony yes. Ship. Sorry, I thought it was grayed out. It's the one that says colony ship. Oh, okay. 
Colon, now it's going to take 350 colon days. Colon Y. Go ahead and click build. Or uh, is it automatic yeah. going to do that? It'll build. Oh, gosh. Go for it. Certain I'll irrational I'll and like criminal your, elements. Like your, no, give us give some, give some tinge. Certain irrational and criminal elements of our society have left the Mall of America to seek an outlaw's life in the far reaches of space. In a display of surprising ingenuity, these brigands have heavily modified and weaponized a large number of civilian starships. Our civilian shipping lanes are now being raided by this improvised star fleet, which identifies itself only as the Red Captaincy. A prompt response is needed. These nonconformists will be dealt with. Oh my god. You hear them outside? Yeah, they're coming. <laughs> no, I want to imagine this red, uh, red like the guy from the hyd- like the hydraulic press channel. These nonconformists are very dangerous and could attack at any time. <laughs> if you must be dealt with. with. <laughs> Turn on the hydraulic press. <laughs> that's right. We're going to hydraulic um, press them. All right, so we can get out of here. Yeah. It'll let us know when that's done. So these... other than that, we're still just kind of researching. Where are these dirty fools at? I want to see where these fools are. Uh, I think we'll just run into them. Okay, like in I other systems. See them right I don't now. think we know where they are yet. They okay. just because they just armed civilian ships and fled. But I think Whoa. it's likely that Whoa. we'll run into them. All right, so we have the JTT Gato has completed we have the construction, its construction done. So now we will go ahead and put this guy over the JG Wentworth, just to kind of go up through the. Yeah, you don't want to do frontier outposts yet. What is that exactly? Frontier outpost is a way to broaden your border range without having a planet to colonize. Uh, Those are probably the guys. Let's go check that out. Do I have any? Do I have, have any? Seventy ones worth. I think they're. I think they're bad news right now, man. Okay, yeah, here they are. They're bad news. They're just chilling out right over there. They're sitting <laughs> at the edge of the universe. All right, so we need. I think we need to get some military power going. Well, right now, if you build military, it'll go in front of the colony ship. Well, you could do that. These guys could wreak havoc on this. I'm hoping this they leave. Okay, they left. Okay, well, where are they going now? They're going to slime ball. <laughs> Great. So Let's if, what they're doing here. So bring up the. They're yellow. What does yellow mean? That just means that they're chilling. So they're like observing. Let's see these guys. All right. Well, they. So you know, this is what bad. you can do, Jared. If you bring up the Mall of America again, you can do build, and you can add Corvettes to the list after the construction ship finishes, and then it will like add them to the queue. Should I do one, two? You have three right now, and that gives you seventy-one military power. So I'd say if we're trying to beat one ten, I'd just be build three more, puts you at one forty. Right. Okay. Like splitting up over here. Did you see that? Are they attacking your? I think they're going to attack this guy. So I'm, I'm going to get him out of here. How can I? No, that's it? your research station. You can't oh, leave I it. Oh, can't. Uh, you could send your guys now. Your 70 that you have. Where's this at? This guy right here. Yeah. You could send them and see how they fare. They're lower military power, but they're 71 plus the 41 of the station. Oh, these guys are jerks. That's crazy. I've never had them attack my installations like that. They're always just kind of like around and a pest. Right. But not like I'm going to blow up your research station. <laughs> oh, these guys are fucking dicks. It's just like, what's the research station done to you? All right, so we got hostile fleets. We got system surveyed. Okay, Maybe. so your science ship's good to do something new now. Let's see. So you had it down here in the Osmodin system. Well, that was a red star. Pretty dope. Class M star. All right, let's take a look at this spot. Well, let's put this in pause mode here real quick. Let's survey what we have. Mineral here. rich. We've got three mineral okay. spots there. Okay. No worlds, though, it looks like to live in. Got a gas giant. Um, what was that one? Frozen world. Frozen world here. You're trying to tell me this isn't habitable? I am a gas giant. Yeah. There are definitely things living on me, especially under my armpits, my butt crack. Yeah, I have a lot of holes that things can <laughs> live in. Yeah, yeah. I have more than the average human. Okay, also we have to think of a different name here, because this is... We can't change it yet until it's in our... Oh, that's right. Until we own it. We have to suck it into our gullet. Which All we right. will soon expand our border. Let's see if our dudes are... Our dudes are not over here yet. They they're are... They're coming. They're in faster than light right now. Whoa, they're, it, it's dead. It's gone, by the way. That sucks. Yeah, watch it. Yeah, just... Just, just dying. All right, well. We oh, you got new research. All right, these sensors have been turned. 
tuned. Oh my gosh, my eyes are just garbage today. I have been tuned to look for any gravitational changes in space, such as those pr those produced by the presence of a starship. That's all what right. we got. So that here, I'm gonna hit pause. So that increases our survey speed. So now, what are we gonna research instead? Cool. All right. So you can do fusion power to get yourself more energy storage and better fusion reactors for your ships. You can do orbital energy conversion, which lets you place solar panels on spaceports, which means every spaceport you have, you can get credits for it. Oh, energy okay. credits or plus five percent research speed. I'd say at this point, since we're trying to get some stuff going, I would say the research speed may be on our best interest. I think, yeah, I think administrative AI or orbital energy c conversion would be the best. And the good thing about administrative AI is the earlier you get it, the longer you get the bonus for it. That's what I'm saying. So It's like when you're playing an RPG at the beginning, they're like, do you want to take the thing that gives you plus 10 experience? You're like, yeah, I'll take it right now. Exactly, yeah. I'll know I'll wait till level 40. All right, uh, so go watch. Let's go check out this fleet combat. Okay, here. Because if our three ships are just going to die, we should retreat them. Oh, wait. Click on... Can you click here? Right here? Yeah. Oh, that's great. We didn't give them a leader before we went in. Oh, All right. Great. They're probably going to die, but we'll see. Well. Because they don't have a leader, so we can't... You might be able to hit retreat on them. I don't know. How do you retreat? retreat over There's here? that button over here on the left. All right. You still can. I mean, they're actually faring all right. Well, they just lost one ship. Let's get out of here. Oh, can't do it. No, they got out. Okay, yeah. All right, good. Emergency FTL jump. Okay. All right. So that's not going to work. So let's leave them. We'll let those guys wreck our research stations or whatever they want to do for right now. That's fine. All right. We got to get this. Uh, we got to get the construction ship doing yeah, something. Yeah, we need else. our colony Especially ship. since they are destroying our stuff at this point. All right. So let's see what all we have here. So this is... That means everything is done there. Okay, so it's green. That's what that means, Yeah, right? green means we're... we're collecting all of it okay there's six science worth in kevin james that we haven't built around yet yes so let's go there so just click on it right click on it uh yeah right click on the the star yes, yeah and go. then do build whichever you want research stations there's oh, also mining we stations we haven't had we, we don't have yet because you see where it says eight and then four that means right. we have four more mining worth that we haven't gotten well to be fair we just had a research station destroyed but we had a it was actually a mining station oh okay sorry okay it was getting us energy, it looks like. All right. So. So guys, we're just going to have to wait till we build more guys, ships. Oh, well, maybe. Let's see here. Let's see these guys are for real. Guys. Yeah, they're not happy. I'm assuming they'll back off. Are they just chasing your guys? I guess so. Yeah, try to retreat them out again if you can. Well, it looks like you did take out one of their ships. Okay. Right. The only problem is now they're in our capital system. No, they're leaving. Okay. All right. So hold on. Let me look through this here. Okay. So you can send science ships to research whenever you destroy something. I wouldn't worry about it right now, though. Yeah. You well, have we like have, 1,800 days left. We have left. a lot of time left. What's the status of our ships? Where are we? Hold on. Why did it take them here? Oh, because they retreated. So if you click on the... You can click on the military ships. All right. Let's you do it. can have them go back and heal. You can hit the heal button, and they'll fly back to the nearest spaceport and heal. Yeah, they should probably do that. Because right they're at eight point seven percent life right now. Yeah. Well, they survived. Which is not good. I guess that's good. I'm assuming I don't get my ship back. The one that no, got died. That one's dead. But that'll repair the two that are left. Rest in peace. We love you. Rest in peace. You will be missed. So okay. Where do I check out my ships again? Right here? Right here? Uh, no, no, actually, I, I know what I do. Okay, I got it. I got it. So, you can this. select Mall of America again and go to Spaceport That's if right. you want to read. If you want to see the build. Yes. So, well, 20 days from Colony Ship. Let's speed this up real quick and get this done. And then you'll start building more Corvettes so you can hopefully to go deal with those guys. Yeah. Um, All right, so now... Okay. So if you look up at our credits, you'll see now that we're like breaking even, we're at negative zero. That's because colony ships cost a bunch of resources when they're just flying around okay. and when they're first a colony. For the first little while of them being a colony, they're just like a drain on the economy. Right. So we want to fly that ship. We want to colonize somewhere as fast as we can. So I know 
a little birdie told me. So yeah, and if you hold alt, it'll tell you. It'll show you the green. Oh, right here. Systems are where we have some. I want to. Uh, let me look at these places here real quick. So, got a slime ball. It's got eighty percent habitability. Yeah. It's got a pretty decent amount of stuff there. All right. And then Cool S. And Cool or as S. As we like to call. Has, cool S. Has Cool S two and Cool S four. Oh. That one's got a little bit more cleared out, it looks like. And then Cool S2 is about the same. Okay, well, you know what they called me in high school? Old Cool S4. Cool S4. So then right. if you click, you can actually do it this way. It's a little bit easier. If you click Cool S4 and then Colonize, then you can just pick the ship. And now you need to pick its starting point. So I would probably put it on, like... Some place that does not have any resources, right? No, because it will collect the resources, so you do want to put it where there are resources. Like so right like here? The one with two food means you're going to immediately start getting two food and one minerals. Uh, two food? Okay. And then it's going to go. So it does its thing. The JTT O'Hare <laughs> is en route to colonize. Named after the famous captain, Bucky O'Hare. Bucky O'Hare, yeah. So now we no, have... No, not Becky O'Hare. Oh, Bucky, Bucky O'Hare. O'Hare. That's her. That's his daughter. That's her daughter. His daughter, Becky. That sounds like that would have actually been the thing in the Bucky O'Hare games. Because <laughs> they were stupid. Yeah. Um, no, they were great. They are some of the best games. Okay. Well, let's keep going on the... on the. Uh, we got a lot of things to juggle at this point. Well, let's see here. Well, we'll come down and look at this here in a second. The advantage of the cool S is it will extend our border and hopefully we will get the Haribas system inside of our border. Okay, yeah, we're getting there. When it when Cool S gets populated. Well, so in that situation, or in that kind of situation, we probably want to come down here next because it looks like this is like the closest to you know after we kind of yeah. spreads through here. All right, head that way, homies. All right, let's take a look at this system real quick. It's got All four IG. credits and two. Whoa! Of that science, I can't remember the names of the specifics. Industrial science. Okay. All right. Cool. All right, so system has been surveyed, so that's good. Can we get rid of these? Yeah, you can right-click okay. on them. Uh, you can right-click on all okay, of them if you want to go away. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I forgot about the time project, but that's fine. Those just give you, like, some science and stuff like that, but they're not required. One time only deals. All right. So. So I think the cool S... So our colony ship is in the cool S system. If we want to go see it make landfall. Great. Where are these guys That's at? probably your science ship. Uh, where? Your science ship. See, it's on the other side. Oops. It's leaving. It. I mean, it leaves on its own. Okay, that's fine then. All right, so the colony ship. Let's go to this guy. <gasps> it's en route. All right. Okay, so we got some more uh, Corvettes pumping through here. Uh, got the repairs done. Yeah, so you're up to 98 right now in military power in your fleet. Okay, so we're getting there, and so that's that's there. not even including that's not even including the other two that we're still. No, playing. that's total. That's including those two. Yeah, because if you look over the side, you have four ships, ninety-eight military power. Okay, so in your military expertise, and you've been playing a lot of Hearts of Iron, uh, so you know a lot about military yeah. science in the distant future. Should I build more? I would say the bigger number, the better. Wow. So yeah, I would probably Can't get to six that. before you fight them. All right. Well, I still have one coming. So I'd make one more. They do cost you um, credits and stuff to like maintain. Wow. So you don't want to build too many. Oh, let's get back here. <gasps> Our colony ship has made a oh, gentle oof. splashdown in the planet span sp in the planet spanning ocean of Al Jizza, mm -hmm. just off the shores of a large archipelago. This fertile island chain will serve as an excellent first landing site. The ship has been permanently anchored in preparation for its conversion into the administrative headquarters of the new settlement. Its reactor core is in the process of being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters have sprung up on the islands surrounding the former starship's massive hulls as colonists begin to disembark in large numbers. The first slob on my gobnack city on an alien world. Oh my god, a great day for the League of Kevin James. Indeed it is. So I'd pause it. Um, and now yes, we also need to we get to decide our name. Yes, we need to decide on the name. Decide on the name. We have Cool S Al Jizza, or as I like to call it, hold on here. The Jizza. That's uh, that might be a better one than I was actually thinking. Uh, if you click up here on its name, I think you can change it from there. 
Um, you better you, let me change it. It will, but you might... Ha All I'm thinking is you might have to wait until it's done colonizing. Okay. I have a good uh, name for it. Yours actually might be... Try one, here, try one other thing. Click up here in your Empire tab. Then go to Planets. Then click out just a... No, wait, no. It just wait, sorry. Go back to it. If you actually click the name, will it? Nope. Oh, no. Okay. It's all right. Yeah, then we'll let it colonize. We'll let it do its thing. We got to think up something good, though. I mean, I have a good name for it, but I don't want to spoil okay. it. Okay. Okay. But I kind of like your name better. That's my favorite. That was actually my favorite rapper in Wu-Tang. Okay. Well, there you go. I like but... Ghostface Jizza. <laughs> I like the Jizza. Yeah, I mean. Well, then we'll, yeah, I'll let you see what yours is and we can decide. Okay. Um, up we gotta, here real we quick. We got to get our science ship. Yeah, get your science ship okay, going. Well, hold on. Here, I'll show you how to do something new when you get your science ship. Okay. I'll show you how to do something amazing. So you can go back to the galaxy map. And I would queue up. Don't go here. So this shows, hey, last time you were here, you ran into enemies. Right. So I would go the other direction. This way. So right click. Do survey system. Now hold shift. It's code. And then right click the other star down below it. And hit survey system. This is cheat code? Oh, wait. Sorry. It's not shift. It's alt. Well, alt. we'll just do this instead. How about this? Wait. Okay. Wait. Okay. Is it control? Maybe it's control. It's been a few days since I've played this. Oh. Now, now try. No, now hit the other one while holding control. Nope. Did they change it? It's really not shift. Oh, there you go. What? Okay. Your shift was not as good as my shift. Yeah, that's the same. As per Chancellor Hanuki, Hajuku's mandate, additional mining stations have been constructed. Cool. Oh, that's that was good. We fulfilled the mandate for the president. Is it a president? Well, it's an administrator, chancellor, chancellor okay. or something, I think. All right, so a few things to deal with. That just means, hey, this is done constructing, which is fine. Um, you have some unemployed people, it looks like, on one of your planets. Just some Legos here. So these guys don't have a job, so we want to build something there to give them All right. a job. Um, so I mean, there's move. there's no bonuses, right? That's no, there's no bonuses, so we can build whatever we want. Here. So what do we need? Well, right now we're wanting for credits. Right, I think that credits are, are are the thing we're in the negative on. Right. So you can build a power plant to get three energy credits from it. Okay. And then also, I would say while you're while you're at it here, you on the one, you see the one mineral with the slob on my gob next guy on it, and uh, no building uh, up to. Over to yes. Okay. Yeah. I would build a mining station there. All right. Or a mining network, yeah. All right. What does it mean if there is a caution symbol next to it? Uh, that just means that, hey, this is going to put you more in the negative on your credits because it's costing you money. But This is the Mall of America. We run on credit. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't... Yeah, we, have, we run entirely on credit. This is matter. how we roll. Okay. So... Construction ship is... Let's let everything go back to the Is slow... More research. I love researching games. Never stop researching. Oh, yeah, definitely not. So there's one got... thing you have to do... <laughs> Excuse me, if there's one thing you have to do in... Paradox? Is it makes this right? Yeah, Paradox Par games. Yeah, just making sure. Always be researching. Uh, always, yeah. So you got some nano composite armor. Okay. It, what it gave you. That's definitely going to help. That should help. <laughs> Especially since we have, some, like, rogue, we have some, like, rogue... We have some rogue my gob naxi slob my gob nax How do we call him? slob my gob naxian Okay, that's right. I, I didn't... Okay, the, you're right. Yeah, the red Captain C is out there amongst the okay. stars now. So, let's... I'm just going to let this run for a bit, because I keep pausing it and not getting very far. Yeah, so. that's fine. Uh, we'll play it in real time. Nucle nuclear missiles. Or nu one. I mean, sorry. Nuclear. Nuclear missiles, yeah. Uh... Coil guns. Or geothermal fracking. Everyone mm -hmm. loves fracking nowadays. It's huge. Uh, that gives you higher it's mineral storage, and it gives you the next level of mining networks. Which would help mm -hmm. our economy, but it's not going to help our military. The other two would help our military. Right. I think we need to start building out our military a little bit, just because even, like, one crew, like, started, like, just... I mean, it wasn't yeah. a huge deal, but, I mean, they we still, had nothing. They squished us a little So, bit. let's see here. Space-to-space -space missiles... The missiles will take half the time as the coil guns, but the coil guns are a level two weapon. I think that's probably our best bet. Okay. Coil guns certainly sound cool. Well, speaking cooler. of which, so looks like these guys are it. out here being eighty-two. Guess what we've got? 
We've got a fleet. What do we? Let's name this fleet. We have to, can we assign a leader first? Yes, assign a leader definitely. Okay. So okay. you have to recruit again. Admirals. So we want Na Yang, Emilio Alonso, or C Hugh. What are their traits? Okay, so we have ship upkeep. So cheaper to upkeep the ships. Better evasion. evasion. I think it's probably ship upkeep because we're like kind of our funds are kind of. Yeah, and I would go for the younger one. The 46. Yeah, Emilio. The guy, the guy that's only middle aged. Yeah. Emilio Estevez. And then you just select him to. Alonso. Okay, okay cool. So that's going to help. We name it here? Yeah. Because this is like our main fleet. This is like the grand fleet. Okay. Emilio Mighty Estevez Duck. is finest work. Because I guess we are on, we are underwater creatures, so what would we see as something that's flying around in the sky? Well, to us, things flying around in the sky would actually be things swimming on the surface of the water. Also, which would be the mighty ducks. Also, that's true. Mighty ducks fly in the sky. Yeah, I can fly <laughs> so twice as high. Were... Take a look; it's in space. The mighty ducks. Um, think about the '90s culture. Mm -hmm. Think about what everybody was wearing, besides bulls yeah. jerseys. They were definitely wearing mighty ducks mighty jerseys ducks. and hats. Yeah. I had like 17 hats. Not literally, but figuratively I had 17 I don't hats. think we can name individual ships, but later when we get bigger ships... When we I get mean, there's one called the Doolittle and the King Cobra yeah. and the Lynx. I don't think we need to change these No, names. I don't They're think we should either. They're freaking awesome. But when we get a better... When we get like one big ship, if we can't change this name, we should name it the Knuckle Puck. Because that was what their like premier ship would be called. I don't think you can change individual names. Mm. Oh no, you can! The knuckle, JTT Knuckle Puck. Can't lose the Knuckle Puck in battle. It's our first. So we can name one the Knuckle Puck. We can name one Goldberg. We can name one Keenan Thompson. Nah, we'll leave him. I, leave, I would just say the Knuckle Puck right now. And that's mean, like the hidden the weapon is the Knuckle Puck. Baraka, the King Cobra, and the, the Lynx, Doolittle. the Doolittle. They are great names. Yeah, they're good. The Janissary. Janissary. All right, so these guys are going to go fuck these dudes So up. you need to select the fleet again. You just X'd out of it. Then Quack. right click those four. Quack. Quack. Okay, so that means I've yep. got it, right? Yeah, that's like their motto thing they do. Quack. They're like slapping Quack. around in their water inside the ships and they go, Quack, 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 quack. And they go, let's do it. I'm really excited about this, but I also have to set my construction ship because yeah. it's got to it's gotta go. Um, I'm so, while you do that. Well, I want, I want to watch the fight go down. You got a, you got a little time. Okay, so where do these... There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this hospitable rock. This inhospitable rock. Oh, okay. Big difference, I guess. <laughs> Completely different. This thing. rock's very hospitable, actually. All right. So, let's take a look here. Where We need to go to the construction ship here. So, let's yeah. look. we got a lot of unclaimed stuff. Yeah. I would build this stuff in Kevin James in our capital. Yeah, I think so, too. So, right-click. One of these days, I'll get it. One of these yeah, right-click. I'll click. just, like, get it. And then do research stations, yeah. So it looks like the guys work moved up to the slime ball now. Oh my god, you guys. Or maybe that's where they were already, but your guys are going there. They don't even know what's going on. They're trying to take out your other thing. They're trying to take out the sun. Oh my god, they're nuking the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see these dudes sweep in here. I'm going to do a little bit of speed up. Yeah. yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Ah. We've recovered artifacts from an ancient ancient civilization on Gedexus I. From what we have translated so far of their language, we have learned that these aliens called themselves the Erasian Concordal. Concordant. Sweet name. No. Yeah, Concordant. Yeah, Concordant. They were an interstellar power that held sway over this region of the galaxy a little over a million years ago. They appear to have been six-limbed mammalians, and there are several references to some sort of plague called the Jovian or Javarian Pox. So these guys are like Goros. Which swept across their empire with devastating results, possibly leading to their extinction. Interesting. That's pretty interesting. So they're like, yeah, they're Goros. That's where Goros from. Goros right. that died. Let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this bloodbath. That's hopefully. Oh my gosh! If they don't destroy that. Oh, they won't. We're gonna wreck them before they destroy that. Okay. Zoom in real, real cinematic like. Can we take it down to slow motion? No, I would just leave it at normal. Okay. <laughs> These fights take long enough. We can really take it. Fifty-five. Down. We already wrecked one. Rest in peace. Yeah, oh, these somebody guys pooped are... over here. These guys are way outnumbered. 
We haven't even scratched yet, actually. Oh, two of them. Just the one now. Oh, my God. Doesn't stand a chance. This is the part where you Red need... Captain, so you didn't think about this, did you? This is the part where you need to take a picture, or like a, you need to take like a clip of like Job saying, I made a terrible mistake. <laughs> or I made yeah. a huge mistake. <laughs> yeah, they weren't planning well, that. Well, goodbye. Well, oh, <laughs> just phase out of existence. All right, so now the, the research station, or the mining station is going to heal up. Cool. On its own. You so can send guys, your guys back to get repaired. Yes. These guys need to go back. Uh, I mean, do they even need it? Let's look. They probably have some slight. They're at 86.3. Okay. So, so you can these guys back. Whoa, guys. Wrong way. Oh, well. No, they're not going the wrong way. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see. Oh, wait. No. Are they? Where are they going? No. Okay. What? That was weird. Bizarre. It made them look like they were going. <laughs> let's take a look <laughs> here, by else. the way. Because um, this is done. It is done. All right, so let's let's rename this. Okay. So here's what my idea was. Okay. Kind of like the Jizza because in the cool S system. Oh, uh, oh, it doesn't let me. It has to wait. What? Am I losing my mind? Is mm, it what? Not letting me type here? Okay. No, it is. Okay, it did not let me for a second. Okay. Something else must have clicked. The Al Bundy. Okay. I saw. I kind of predicted that that would be what you were thinking. Okay. I kind of like the Jizza. What do you think? It's called Al Jizza. Right. It's in the cool S system. Which is more cool S to you? Al Bundy or the Jizza? Al the Jizza Bundy? Yeah, so I mean that's pretty much what we're gonna do with everything at this point. Um Just like the Rizzo does, yeah. So Sure, I'm with I'm with that. Oh, okay, Name so it after one of our heroes. So of our heroes. I'm already gonna spoil it. Um the cool S two definitely gonna be called the Peg Bundy. Peg the a different member of the Wu Tang Clan, Bundy, Ghostface Jizza. Actually, we'll see what the name of it is. <laughs> okay. Let's see the name of it because it always you know it always true, names yeah. it. All right. So speaking of which, where's our colony ship? Um, Your colony ship is gone now. That's it. That's the colony, right? Yep. So if you look now on the left, our planetary administration is up. It's harvesting food, and we have one population that's growing. We have a ghost population over here. So I would probably build a farm there just to help give you the boost in population that you need as soon as you can. Okay. Cool. So you're good there. All right, so these guys are busy doing their thing. Yep, your fleet just won. I feel pretty good about it. Do we want to make another colony ship? Let's do it. Because if, if you look, now that it's established itself as a colony, we're back on top in credits. Sweet. This is what Daddy likes. All right. This is what it's all about. It's all about spreading my seed. Okay, so I'm also like completely... There we go. Alright, let's... We've got the money for another colony ship. Oh, wow. Yeah, we do. Cool. Oh, this music. The music in this game is awesome. It is killing it right now. And I wish they would release a thing that lets you buy the upgrades. Because one, like, one of the levels of this game you could buy it at, they actually sell you the soundtrack. But I bought the cheap one, and I can't upgrade and get the soundtrack. So that's the oh, debris from okay. earlier when, they were fi when we were fighting them. We can send a search, a science ship to go. All right, at. so initial analysis of the asteroid's composition points toward potentially interesting finds. Now well, let's keep going. Research it, man. Research everything. Only 17% risk of failure. So the, the risk of failure is starting to climb, I noticed. So. Yeah, it depends on the star, uh, on the anomaly itself, but then also like the star ranking of your captain, I believe. Right. Okay, so this science ship, it's still doing its thing. Oh, oh okay. I'm not going to mess with that. It's still definitely doing its, its, got its thing. It's a bunch of stuff, yeah. So... Who cares about that shit? So we can just probably speed up. Yeah, I think so. Well, let's kind of wait. We can till... speed up and kind of just pump through stuff with some of our remaining time here. All right. So let's see here. I like that little Lego piece that has, has uh, yeah, the construction piece on. thing. That's pretty dope. All right. On the shoulders of giants, it appears that at the asteroid JTT Jaeger and the surrounding debris originates from a former planet. Oh, from a former planet. Sorry, I didn't I'm realize. assuming that's supposed to say it appears that the asteroid near the yeah. JTT. Well, Yeager I read it and, and the then surrounding I, debris. I read it and I was like, because we ne we did not name an asteroid the JTT. Yeager. We didn't name it after a ship. Yeah, even though that's not a bad idea. Deep within the center of the asteroids, we can find traces of extremely valuable minerals. All right, so space mining, or a asteroid mining. Yeah, uh, there is also hints of bacterial life that has now died in the vacuum of space. That's a bummer. This shows us that the celestial body once bore the promise of life. Amazing. Okay, so this means that 
So it means Ooh. that that asteroid is going to get the X planet modifier, which means that it will give you five minerals, which is awesome. That's pretty cool. So if we get that system into our control, we'll be able to mine right. it for that. I'm a, I'm a fan. I dig that. All right. Oh, a new election coming. Let's wow, we went from here. one election to another. Let's take a look here for a second. So... So it looks like Juniki Haguchi still has the most support. With he's 51%. doing really well. And the loyalists are supporting him. Yes. Let's see who else we have here. No. No. Oh, now Emilio Alonso wants in on it. Supported by the oh, loyalist yeah. fringe. Whoa. Um, Emilio is our new scientist. Deep connections. What do we have under... What do we get from... Uh, Geniki? Expansionist, which is actually... That's actually... Yeah. No, okay, so I actually... Explorer, that's pretty nice. Yeah. Um, Space Miner, that's pretty nice. Architectural, Architectural sense. Architectural is going to help on our new colonies. To be fair, this... He does sound like he's the right fit for our I think colonies. we keep... We got to keep back the same horse. That's right. Give him his second term, right? He probably right. set up his first term. With the keep the Mall of America term. great. Yeah. Just imagine like a little hat right there. Give here. him a second term, like a nice and then I would say after his two terms, we think about a new. Can we set it like a term limit? <laughs> no. I think it's just you would probably vote him out if you don't want him. Okay. So here you can support them again if you want, though. Because he's at 51%, but that's still kind of chance in it. Uh, I mean, we got a lot to... We might want to here. give him some additional support. Okay. I would probably leave it there. Unless you want to spend more influence. But influence is hard to get. We only get plus three. Well, I want him to win. 68%. I'm the super delegate here. You are, in fact, basically like a huge, you're like the fattest super delegate. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, literally. I'm the Grover Cleveland of super delegates. <laughs> I thought you would have gone Taft, but okay. Okay, yeah. Going is... Grover Cleveland was unexpected. That's true. Taft is pretty fat. I think Taft, side note, I think Taft, I was reading about this, Taft lost a lot of weight later in life. Like after he was done, he like climbed a mountain no one cares or some about shit. That, though. He did get stuck in a bathtub. Which I think would cause me to lose weight too, or like I would feel really bad about that. <laughs> uh, you either gain gained weight, level. you'd either gain weight or lose weight. You either gain weight or you live long enough to see the lost weight. Juniki Haguchi, Juniki Haguchi. Right, Junichi, Junichi. Four more years. Junichi. Are they ever four years? I don't actually? know if they're four years or two years. However many more years. Nah, they're four years. I don't know. Five I think years? three, maybe? I thought we thought it started in 2207. 76 but... years? I don't know. All right, so let's see what else we got here. <gasps> let's cut this down from fastest. How about that? Yeah, you can also just pause it now. An abandoned ship has been left to drift aimlessly above this moon. The massive sails protruding from its hull suggest that it relied on solar power to function. No, let's just leave it. No, of course we're going to look at it. <laughs> leave it. I hate it. No. It is really xenophobic. 7% oh, so you... risk of failure. You're really xenophobic, so you just don't look at it. Not in my backyard. Okay, so we got this construction ship. He needs to. He needs to get off his fat ass. Um, get back to work, contractors. That's right. Uh, oh, see now, Herbus is in our system. Uh, nice. Let's go out here and let's get, get those five those minerals. minerals. Don't hold all when you do it. I think. I did hold. I did it. Yeah. I think that just makes it. Yeah. Okay. There you go. I did hold it. Sorry. All right. Our second conning ship is just about done. You can tell because if you look up under, under Mall of America, see that little icon at the bar is full? Oh! Oh! oh. I'm excited. All right, let's have the end of our third video. Okay. Part three being our third colony. Just well, like second colony, but on our the third, way, like, let's put it, like, in route. The third place we've lived. It looks like a good place to live. Oh, okay. It looks so... nice. Honestly, all these ocean worlds look nice. These are like straight up Well, this paradise. is definitely where I'm going. Well, you'll only get... You, I think you only get food from it. Because the last one, it got rid of the one mineral. And it just changed it to all food. Okay, so let's go here. So then. you might want to go there, yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. You won't we can get... only have one... Cause be, because we can only have one building on that. Yeah. I think it I think it just... And I think the planetary administration gives food. That's something... <gasps> Oh, we're already doing that. Yeah, I'm just getting rid of these things here. Uh, who cares? Who cares? Put it in the negative. All right. So you want to end it here? You want so to... our third ship is on the way. You want to? You want it to like just get there? Let's make sure. This is... Yeah. Honestly, well, we have to wait till it saves. Anyway, we can wait so... till it saves. So we're getting there though. Cool S two is going to be colonized. We have Al the Jizz of Bundy, the follow up to the Mall of America. Mm -hmm. 
Mall of America is really near and dear to a lot of people's heart, but there's something very exciting about the idea of living on a whole new planet. I'm pretty excited. Are there rings around it? Will you zoom in on it? Oh, look at that. No, I, no, not this one. The other, uh, the Jizza. Whoa. It's an ocean world. There's rings. Okay, well, we got something else popping up here, so... We've discovered an abandoned solar sail ship in orbit around Ethereus 3B. The sub-light vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails has a large tear where some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteoroid, which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. Interesting, albeit primitive, design. Whoa. Jerk How about alert. you check yourself? All right, so that just gives us some Check research. your privilege. Mall of America. <laughs> just because you didn't die in a solar sail ship doesn't Whoa. mean you're better than them. Just because just because your your malls are still thriving doesn't mean everybody else's malls are still thriving. Alright, we're coming up on a save, okay. so that's where we're gonna hold it. Alright, there we go. So we hit the save. Alright. It's on the way. And at this point, if you go out to the galaxy map. Yeah, let's take a look at this. Whoa, actually looking We got a little Whoa, we actually have a lot more than I had suspected. All right. Um, yeah, we've got a little bit more than we did before. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've Harboss. Um, Harboss is under our control. We named have after the delicious um, gummy bears. Now we're about to have a second colony. Yeah. We've fought and won at least once against our insurgent faction, the uh, Red Captain. Dec decimated them. Yeah. Decimated them. They may. There may still be more out there though. We don't know. I mean, um, it is. It is space. Yeah, so there probably are. Um, Take me to your dealer. Yeah, things are looking up. I would say this next time, now that we have colony ships, this next session we'll be able to fill out the rest of our the land we have, probably drop some frontier outposts to keep expanding. Hopefully our science ship just finds more habitable life, because if you look right now, other than those three systems, there's three planets right near us. Yeah, not yet. It's not looking good. So we have, so. We have the what I'm dubbing the pig, Bundy. Hopefully I remember that for next time we uh, do that. I'm sure I will. Um, I yeah. have steel trap for a brain and the, oh, well, that's not what I want. Baby to slime ball. Yes, that's right. Um, this one is called the Bud Bundy because he's a slime ball. They're all Bundy, Bundy themed <laughs> planets. <laughs> that's right. No, what's, uh, what's Jefferson? That's the, that's the neighbor. So don't ask why I know all these things. God. Um, well, we'll just have to wait till next time on the League of Kevin James. Solaris journey. See you next time. Bye.